just finished up with the Roaring Run Race to the Moon 5K at night. Uh, it was a 9 p.m. Uh, race start, so the trail was actually dark. It wasn't one of those like fake night races where it's in the evening, but you're still daylight racing. Um, there's still a little bit of light on the trail. <coughs> they say to bring a headlamp. I actually didn't use one. Uh, most people did. I probably should have, but uh, they actually lit the trail up with a bunch of jugs with lights in them. So you could pretty much see the whole way. I would say you could see the whole way just by the jugs um, and then other people's lights. So I personally didn't turn my headlamp on at all, which was awesome. I almost got ran over like four times by people uh, when I was heading back. They were on the left, left hand side, which would have been my complete right hand side of the trail. Um, I guess they just didn't know any better, but I finished second overall in 1833.22. Um, I might have been able to break 17s if I really pushed and tried. I didn't today. I just sort of let things go. Um, did, overall, though, that was a pretty good pace for me because um, I did a uh, trail race 20K this morning with like 18, 1900 feet of gain. Um, my legs actually still felt really good, even. Well, I guess I took a nap in between, like a three and a half hour, four and hour nap in between, but to recoup. But my legs actually felt really good tonight. It was raining off and on on the way down, and it was raining a little bit uh, during the race. Nothing noticeable. We actually got lucky and missed a storm, I guess, at home. It really, like, dumped some shit down on uh, town. So it'll be interesting to see how many trees are down on my way home once I get closer. Um, anyway, for this race, if you ever been to Roy Run, uh, trail like you know it's a flat rail trail at least on the uh, Apollo side of it the other side's kind of got a nice hill to start that trailhead but for the race you can't actually park at the trailhead you have to park a mile and a half away and get bust in even though there was a lot of parking at the trailhead today when we got there stupid deer get out of the way they just want people to, I guess, get bussed in. So if there's a bunch of vehicles, I guess the buses can uh, move around and drop people off without issue. So you had to get there a little bit early. I think I got there at like 8.15, so like 15 minutes earlier. I wasn't sure when the last bus was going to be dropping people off. If I knew that it was going to be a little bit later, like closer to the race, I probably would have arrived another 20 minutes later but I just wanted to be safe in case I had to run to the uh, the trailhead but they have it set up pretty nice there's a pavilion down there with everything underneath it so things stay dry <coughs> trying to think what else to explain oh, it was a nice quick easy setup when I got there since you get bus to the start, they actually have like a drop bag area in some kind of office there. Probably, I guess the maintenance office or whatever. So you could actually take clothes and store stuff in there and they just give you a number, give to them like when you're done racing to get your shit. Which that makes it a little bit better. Um, especially like today with it being raining and your shit's not out in the rain. Um, one of those things that you got to think about but I brought a backpack and a garbage bag just in case we had to set them outside because that's how some races do things but these people knew what they were doing and again it was nice because it was actually a night race well pretty much a night race and they had jugs lighting up the whole mile and a half out and back um, along the trail I mean some obviously went out but 99% of them still were lit 
when I came through both time, like both ways. They had like a tiki torch at the turn around and some dude standing there uh, as your marker to like turn around. <coughs> Smiley Miles timed it. Results were up pretty quickly. Um, afterwards they had Fox's Pizza. They had some awesome watermelon. I can't tell you how awesome that watermelon was today. It was nice and sweet. It was a very, probably the sweetest watermelon I've had in at least a year. Um, Should have just grabbed the whole tray and just snuck it out. I didn't want to be greedy. Um, <coughs> I got, I know I got a trophy for an award. They were giving out medals and stuff for um, age groups. They were giving out some door prizes too. I actually got like a pirate flag as a door prize. Should have just gave it away to some kid. But I just kept it because by the time I grabbed it, uh, most people were gone. I know looking there around when I first got there, there were some kids. So I was like, ah, oh, this is going to be one of those hard races, you know, a bunch of high school track st uh, stars. But I was ready. It was warm enough where I got away with going shirtless and just wearing uh, calf sleeves, compression shorts, and a hat. Actually, I had to ditch my MP3 player because the stupid volume thing's screwing up, so I'm just going to have to buy a new one again because um, the touchscreen just pisses me off, and I wasn't going to piss with it during the race. So I know I did run slower because I didn't have music, and I had to hear myself breathe the whole time. But I did notice I had a nice rhythm going, and I stayed within myself. Uh, <coughs> I didn't get overexerted or anything like that. <coughs> um, it, yeah when we took off I was made aware of a couple kids that were probably going to win they were really good uh, cross country or uh, track kids so I was just going to let them jet out right away and then reel them in if I could I think we were at like a 445 pace to start for like a tenth or two before everybody started like settling in I was like ah oh, that's dumb I was like why do you damn kids need to go out so fast? You guys need to learn how to race better. But whatever. It gives me an advantage. Um, so, like, a two tenths in. I, well, I was, like, fourth. Then I reeled in the kid in third. He was wearing, like, a red shirt at the time. So there was the kid who won. It was shirtless. And then a gray shirt. Basically running together. And I just slowly, I actually slowly reeled them both in because they were running side by side in about a mile. Oh, well, maybe a little bit over a mile. Um, kid in the gray shirt fell back off the dude that was shirtless um, and I overtook him because I was just using them as targets in front of me to run faster without effort, if you know that trick. So that's what I was doing and that was my plan for that. And then I just saw the kid who was like shirtless ahead of me. And I was just pacing him, using him. I was like, we'll just see what he can do. He was actually a pretty good runner. But I was just trying to stay with him and then put distance between the uh, kid in the gray shirt and third, the rest of the race. I had like 20 seconds on fourth at the turn. So I felt a little bit comfortable the way I was running. Might have been like 22 feet uphill on the way out 10 down so you reverse that on the way back so pretty flat course a good pr course if you like flat shit which you know i don't so i was sort of out of my element and the whole time i had to keep pushing myself to widen my stride and keep it longer instead of short because uh, you know keeping it when i was going short i could feel my pace dropping back so i had to make sure i kept my legs open um, and pushed that a little bit more uh, I know when we went through the one bridge and hit the turn that kid probably had five seconds on me if that um, I was still right on his ass and I think he saw how close I was to him and then he kicked a little bit because after that 
he got me pretty good. And I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm just going to settle into a pace and play for second. I didn't want to blow up. I didn't know how my legs were going to handle the rail trail. And, um, having a race this morning, I was like, don't push yourself and blow up. And then get knocked out of top three. So I played it smart instead of chasing. I really don't think, even if I redlined and tried to push really hard, um, I would have got him. I'd have to look at the results again. But I I really doubt, at least with the shape I'm in, that I would have been able to catch him even on my best day. Um, but you never know what happens. Um, so I pretty much just settled in and hung on the second. I looked back a few times. And I could see the gray shirt, like, passing a light. Other people behind that were heading out or whatever behind him I couldn't really see but I could pick out his gray shirt it made a nice contrast in the dark so I could see how far back he was and he just kept getting uh, farther and farther away from me so I was putting in good work and then maybe like six tenths left in the race I know and it's I was really starting to uh, breathe a little bit heavier it's finally starting to uh, you know fill it a little bit but I was able to maintain and drop back the effort just slightly enough um, right and hit like that red line uh, my heart rate was a little bit high <clears throat> but I guess it was because I was racing hard I think our first mile was 535 the last two were like sixes for me it's um, so a overall pretty good pace decent amount of friends at the race today other than that, not much to talk about. Um, I just passed a bunch of people cheering me on, saying looking good, good job, and stuff like that. Since I could actually hear them without my MP3 player, um, I would say it cost me 15, 20 seconds not having it. Again, having to listen to myself breathe. Um, so I just had to work on actually having a nice um, breathing rhythm instead. that's about it I probably would go back just because they the people putting it on seem like really nice people and they they do honestly I've ran this trail and biked this trail a few times and they really do take care of it and they're actually doing some really nice upgrades on the trail so if it helps support the trail I'm all for that because even though it's like on the shorter end of rail trails the people who take care of it really do put forth the effort and I appreciate that um, so it's nice to give back for the effort that they put in um, but yeah, after the race instead of getting bus back uh, me and my buddy Ronnie we actually ran the mile and a half back as sort of like a cool down to get our vehicles because we um, that way we can leave whenever you know, in case of pouring down rain, we, we would have been in our vehicles and stuff like that. So, by the time we both finished and ran back, it was only like 9.40, so 40 minutes into the race. The words weren't to a little bit after 10, um, so that was a smarter move. So we could actually like leave from the race instead of getting bussed back to the um, where we had to park at. This was a nice little cool down. A nice evening as well. Um, actually, I had to turn my headlamp on for safety reasons running through town, but I don't know. Uh, a lot of people had Nogs gear on today and some other lights, and then obviously headlamps. Um, again, I didn't wear one. I mean, I wore my headlamp, but I didn't need it. One of the reasons why I was trying to be a little bit sneaky about it, um, I figure if I didn't have a light, then the kid in front of me and then the people behind me couldn't really tell where I was at, so I was trying to like hide in the darkness a little bit since I could see. And I knew the trail didn't really have any big ass potholes. Um, and there was enough light from each uh, gallon jug that they had out where I could see to the next one. So 
so I didn't, you know, I didn't necessarily need a headlamp. Um, yeah, it was, I was trying to be a little sneaky and, you know, hide myself from the kid. And the kid who won actually didn't wear one either. He just carried um, a little speaker in his hand and I think his phone. I was actually kind of hoping when I saw that when he started, they would make him a little bit more tired and whatever, but I guess it didn't. Um, it's one of those things you notice any hope happens but kid was really strong so seemed like a nice kid too so congrats to that kid um but i guess my sneakiness didn't work uh, <coughs> but maybe in the first half some of those kids didn't know i was really there until i passed them but it happens other than that i guess that's about it i had a good time i mean i guess I would tell people to support it if you can. If you have nothing to do on a Saturday night. Um, it was definitely fun. Just a little wet today. It was definitely humid too. So I was definitely... I don't know if it was like the rain. A little bit of moisture in the air beforehand. Or the humidity from all uh, just racing. It was definitely moist. My seat, my ass is completely saturated too now. Um, so there's that. But whatever. I think I'm finally back now.